Hi, I'm Dwight Gow and you're watching Newcastle Fan TV. Hello everyone, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. As you can see, we've got the Brighton side, which I think uh, Chris Heaton will go with on the weekend. So yeah, let's get on with it. But just before we do that, I want you to ask us for a little bit of help. Um, I know someone who's recently had the car stolen from Kenton. Pictures are on the screen, as you can see. If, you, if you've seen this car advertised anywhere across social media, or you've seen some suspicious activity with this white Corsa with black allies, please get in touch with our Facebook page and Twitter. You can do it anomalously as well. You can do it for somebody else as well it's just had a car stolen on boxing day and just got a little in as well i think it's bang out of order we'll hopefully catch the thieves as well so good luck and hopefully we'll catch the thieves right so on today's video right brighton then um this is what i think they're gonna go with do you know what it's not so much difficult to predict chris hutton side because they're quite settled uh just to me, Aussie, Aussie mates, get I might. Uh, Ryan and goal, uh, Bruno right back, Duffy and Dunk, the two centre backs, Sutner, Stevens are proper, knock on the right, Sully Mart on the left, Kroos on the 10, Murray up top. Now, for me, you stop the wing play, you stop Brighton from playing. Simple as that. That's where they're strong at. So we know Anthony Knockard. Now I've said this in a, a video a couple of days ago. I don't think you set the Premier League world alight. I think there is still a lot more to come from in this division if Brighton do stay up, which I think they will do. But we know Knockard is all left footed. So if he's going to be playing on the right, you expect and probably I don't think Paul Dummett will start. So Javier Mancuso will go at left back. I, I think. So you're going to have to then ask him. You know, because that's where knocker goes all the time. You'll always go down. So you want you want to get rid of that. You want to try and put knockard onto his right foot and make it harder for him because he's always going to cut in. That's his strength, and he'll not track back either. So if you're going to have say on Christian Atta on that left flank, you'll not need to worry as much going backwards because knockard will not track back as much. So you know that's going to be left with Bruno to then look after Atta. On the other flank, the left back, you're probably saying Matt Ritchie because we know Matt Ritchie will come inbound. I don't think the full backs are going to bomb on as much. These two, the land of giants, Slam Dunk the Funk and uh, Duffy Beer, I think those two centre backs uh, are very strong at set pieces. So, you know, we have scored a few set pieces this season. Maybe we'll have a different style of approach with set pieces, who knows? But we've got to watch out for them coming up from, from the corners as well. Now, I think, as I touched upon, the winger, Sully March, who had a trial at Newcastle uh, many years ago, he also needs to step up in the Premier League as well. Uh, but for me, Pascal Gross has been their best player. I think it's five assists or four goals are the way around. Brighton fans let us know I think he's been an absolute fine for you I think off the top of your head it was about 5 million maybe I'm wrong on that but he gets he, he gets some ticking so when so basically the two type midfielders job is to get it across or if they don't get it out wide that's literally Brighton style of play you stop that at the wings and the number 10 Will, will be easy. It'll be pretty easy afternoon. But Brighton don't score many away goals. But Glenn Murray's that old fox in the box. You're not, you're not seeing none of that. You won't do none of that. He will just hang around these areas, just waiting for any clip balls, any little thing in the box for for set for for some scraps. He's missed a couple of penalties also. And I think there's a mistake in the goalkeeper as well. Um, you know, Tim Krull isn't going to play. It's nice to see him back and Chris Hutton back as well in James's Park. But I think there's a few faults in Brighton's side, which I'm sure Brighton Brighton fans, if you're watching, will pick new faults at Newcastle, of course. But speaking of the tune, let's get out to the tune. Okay, so this is the tune lineup that I'm going to look at. I think this is what Rafa will go with. I think because he has rotated the sides so many times in the last 10 days, and I think he's going to do it again. So the people that you've seen on the bench, like the Perez, Richie didn't even come, could even play. Atsu, Gail was on the bench. You know, um, Reno come on later on. I think you'll see all of them start. I really do. I think because of Rob Elliott's injury, it's, there's no shot of doubt it'll be. Uh, Darlow no flowing is June for this game so I don't think it'll be in Bemba I think it'll be Clark and Lascelles Yedlin at right back I think Monkey will play at left back just because I don't think Paul Dummett is ready to play two games in three games with two two games in three days that makes sense with his injury coming back as well and then I think this this is promising if he goes with this Marino and Shelby because we haven't really seen it too many times I think if we can bring Hayden to the bench maybe bring Hayden on later on perhaps Newcastle are winning the game that's something or even more Diarmi who's uh, actually been okay in the last two games as well a lot of, he's been getting a lot of sick but he's actually been doing all right i think you will go with the number 10 i don't think it'll be the two up top i think perez will come back in we haven't really seen perez in the lineup for a couple of games uh gail that's on the left and uh, richie on the right so you know we've, we've talked about uh, brighton being strong on the wings and in, in the number 10 in particular as well so if you're going to play marino and shelby 
I think you're going to have to probably ask Marino because Marino wins a lot of tackles. Um, he's in the top five in the Premier League who wins the most tackles and he hasn't played every game as well. So it's a great stat. So I think Marino, uh, Marino sorry, will uh, then be the one who's asked to dispossess as well. You know, will will Brighton go for the middle as much? Because I don't rate Stevens and Proper as much. I think we've got the better central midfield pair than what they have. And I think, you know, one of them will probably be trying to sit maybe on Shelby to start from passing. But for me, and I've said this quite a few times, times already this season I don't want to see John Joe Shelby so deep I want to try and get him a little bit further forward because you need to go and not just him I know Matt Ritchie's hit the woodwork a couple of times recently but Shelby for me needs a goal he hasn't scored this season I know he's had the ban a couple of bans but I think you know if we can get him going forward a little bit more maybe maybe ask Marino to do the tackle because we know Marino can bring the ball forward we know he's got that quality so when he wins a ball it's a tactic that we can use you know atsu has got blistering face if we can get him now I was criticised by West Ham Fan TV and I went back on West Ham Fan TV and I all shut them back up because I said Atsu needs to target Zabba Letter. It worked. Same again. Bruno's an old man. You know, he's 35. Get Chris and Atsu running them. You'll not want to do that. That's why I think knockout going backwards isn't very strong. You know, the fullbacks, we're going to ask the fullbacks to bomb on the course as well. Because Newcastle, Rafa has hinted in his press conference early on today that, you know, we're going to be playing with the same kind of um, formation, uh, aggression, uh, mentality, character, strength, like we did against West Ham. And we had, especially Yedlin, literally was a right winger. And that allowed Richie then to cut in. So Matt Richie will start this game. I've, I'm pretty comfortable that he will do that. Again, he needs a goal. Of course he does. But, you know, he's been lucky the last week a couple of times. We're just going to ask Matt Richie to continue what he normally does, get up and down. Help out in defence, come inbound, allow Yedlin to go on the on the on the wing. I also think I was a press could do for goal. He's only got one goal all season. If he does come in the lineup, he is going to work hard off the ball to try and harass Brighton's two centre midfielders to make them into pressure and a mistake as well. And of course the defence as well. I think Dwight Gaylow for me, I'd rather say Gale up top than Hoslow. Hoslow has won a lot of headers in the ball recently, but Duffy and Slam Dunk the Funk are so good in the air. I think let's mix it up a little bit. Let's get Dwight Gale because we've seen it. You know, you've seen it. He scored against some big sides this season. He came off the bench. Yes, he died, we know. And he put a header wide, but you're stretching the defence. And I think if Dwight Gale can run the channels again in between the two centre-backs or the full-backs, that'll allow, obviously, space for our midfield to get forward. In, in the box as well, stopping crosses from the box, I think you're going to have to ask Javier Manquillo. Uh, does he go tight to knock odds? Does he not? Um, that's the question for Rafa Benitez. Yedlin, I think Yedlin can look after Sully March okay. Uh, these two, one of them just needs to keep an eye on Glenn Murray's movement because, yes, he's a fox in the box and he doesn't do much sprinting, but he's got a hell of a movement in the box. So we just need to keep an eye out for that as well. Will Carl Darlow have a busy afternoon? I don't think so. He probably had two, three shots on target against him. This is a winnable fixture on my eyes for Newcastle. If you want to put a bet on the tune as well, remember we've got promotion apps in the link's description. Uh, we're in partners with a bet safe, so you want to have a cheeky bet, they'll double your bonus if you do sign up. If you go for Newcastle win, you've seen the, seen the odds on Newcastle win, pick up some uh, extra cash going into the new year as well. Um, so that's lineups. We'll be there doing the fan cam. They will be working this time, I promise you that, because of my error the other day, so I'll pull the lead out and make sure I have that. And of course, we're going to the Stoke away game too, so uh, um, we'll obviously bring you footage of that too but uh, let us know in your score predictions down below as well what, what are we going to win let us know see you later bye